Hello everybody and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront Starfighter video. In this video I am continuing my Starfighter class video with the Interceptor class. And this is the class you want to pick if you want to take down Starfighters. They're the fastest class and the weapons do the most damage of all the other Starfighter classes. I'll be going through all the Starfighters that were playable in the beta. So that is the V-Wing for the Republic, the Droid Tri-Fighter for the Separatists, the A-Wing for the Rebellion, and the TIE Interceptor for the Empire. We're going to start off with the Republic's Interceptor, and that is the V-Wing Starfighter. It is incredibly fast and incredibly maneuverable, which means it can escape enemies and also track down enemies very quickly. It has three abilities. First is the Afterburner, which is a quick speed boost that gives it a speed boost in order to escape or attack enemies. It has rapid fire blasters, which automatically fires its blasters at a rapid speed, dealing massive amounts of damage. This is good for targets that are moving slowly that you know you can hit, or uh, the MTT, for instance, is good. To, this is good to use on. And it has heat sink, which pre uh, prevents your primary weapon from overheating. So this is a good ship to use in atmospheric combat on Naboo, because you can take down all enemy ships in the air very quickly. Next we have the Droid Tri-Fighter, which is the interceptor for the Separatists. It is also incredibly fast, and in my opinion, it sounds the coolest. Like, I could listen to its engine sounds for hours, because it just sounds so cool. So I'd always pick the Tri-Fighter if I have the chance. Its three abilities are the Afterburner, just like the V-Wing, it's a speed boost. The Heat Sink, just like the V-Wing, prevents your weapon from overheating. And it has the Heavy Laser ability, which activates its central laser cannon, which deals high damage for a short time. Next we can move on to the Rebellion's A-Wing. This is the one of the fastest starfighters ever built and it is incredibly fast in the game. They are peerless escorts and hunters getting in, firing, and speeding away, leaving only enemy wreckage behind. They, of course, have three abilities as well, being the Afterburner, just like the um, Droid Tri-Fighter and V-Wing before it. It has the enemy lock on which means that you will not be able to lose an enemy once you have locked on to them and it has a proton torpedo which locks on and fires a torpedo at the enemy that if it hits the enemy does massive damage this is effective in space above Fondor does great damage to fighters around the objective so you can defend your bombers and defend your corvettes while your stronger ships like the X-wings and Y-wings go for the objective ships and deal heavy damage with their bombs. Now the Empire has the TIE Interceptor, which actually has the exact same abilities as the A-Wings, except the TIE Interceptor's blasters do a lot more damage than the A-Wings, but they overheat a lot quicker too. So with the A-Wing, you can shoot a lot more, and missing is not really that bad, because your blasters don't do as much damage. But if you miss with the TIE Interceptor, it's almost a completely wasted shot, because you can fire for maybe two seconds before your blasters overheat, so you have to make sure you're landing every shot with the TIE Interceptor because it will deal massive damage to the enemy, and it is very effective against the Rebel Scum. And of course, like all the other ships, heroes, re reinforcements, and classes in Star Wars Battlefront 2, they can be upgraded, their abilities, their health, with um, star cards, which is very exciting. I'm very excited to see what kind of star card capabilities the fighters have in the full game. But that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you learned something, please let me know in the comments below. And until the next video, may the force be with you.